Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, what I want to discuss right now is a question a few people have had in the comment section, as well as I've seen on the internet, and a question I recently had myself, and that is, is the GoPro Hero 11 100% waterproof? Now, if you go to GoPro's website, they clearly state that it's ultra durable and waterproof up to 33 feet. Um, I had this GoPro in a few different environments, aquatic environments over the past few weeks. Uh, that was the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. I was about five foot deep in there. A uh, swimming pool that was eight foot deep while we were on vacation. And just last week, uh, another swimming pool that was only eight foot deep, right? So that's well under 33 feet. Now, what I want to do is take a quick look at the condition of my GoPro at this moment. Uh, we'll talk about what happened, all that stuff, and then we'll sum this video up at the end and talk about is it really 100% waterproof, right? All right, there it is, all right? Let's go, go, go over here and take a look. All right, so here it is. And it looks fine, right? Uh, I took the battery out because, well, when something doesn't turn on electronically, you want to kind of get all that stuff out right away and do what I'm about to do. But anyway, I went to turn it on. I had no power. I had nothing. I plugged it in, uh, thinking that maybe the battery needed to be charged, nothing. I tried another battery, nothing, another battery, nothing. So we're going back to the old school days of what did we used to do when our Nokia cell phones got messed up, or really any cell phone, right? What we're going to do is we're going to take this door off here, all right? We're going to open up the inside, take a look, make sure nothing's fried, and then we're going to do the next step, right? All right, so here's the camera, right? Take off this door. We don't need this on for what we're about to do. Now, you know, I'm no technician here, but so far everything looks to be good to go. And there are no, no signs of water damage. So what we're gonna do is pretty simple here, all right? Check it out. We're going to put the GoPro in here. It's just a Ziploc bag, we're gonna this here tight, okay? We've got a funnel, because pouring rice can be difficult. And we're gonna dump it in here. So we filled this bag. Zip lock it shut. We're going to seal it. GoPro is packed in there. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this in here for about four or five days. Let's go four days and see what happens. And I'll come back in four days and we'll see if this thing turns on or not. All right. Cool. Okay. So here we are Friday morning. We've had this soaking for four days. We've got some batteries charging over here. One's fully charged. Uh, this one, this one is still charging. And yeah, so let's get the GoPro dumped out and cleaned out. I kind of just blow some dust out of it and see if it works. Let's see if it, well, we already know it's not waterproof. All right, but let's see if we can save it. All right, well, we got a new color. All right, I kind of like in this, it's a cool color. All right, so let's clean this off. Let's wipe this off real quick. Okay, and then we'll just take some cleaning duster. I'm just gonna... Let's take this charge battery, stick it in. Okay. Woo! We saved it, I think. Let's put an SD card in here and see if we can record any footage, all right, and see if it at least works. Right, let's push the power. Okay, it's on. I got the SD card put in. We got it on video. Okay, we're recording. All right, there's the camera. Ooh, what's going on? All right. So stop that. And let's see if we can pull it up. Now, one thing that was going on, um, when I noticed something was kind of wrong, was that my camera screen was kind of, the, the display screen here was kind of glitching on the videos. Uh, when I was shooting a video, I would hit like stop and it would kind of get all choppy and stuff like that. 
Uh, at that point, I, I should have known that there was some water getting in somewhere. But anyway, it looks like it's recording and playing back here. All right. Let's stop. And yeah, it looks like, looks like this has been repaired, all right? All right, so there you have it. After watching that video and, you know, the four days that it took to repair the GoPro to get it back to working condition, I'm going to go on a limb here and say it is not 100% waterproof, all right? I have not yet contacted GoPro. I wanted to see if I could fix this myself, but I did have it documented the current, the previous state and the current state, so I will reach out to them. But honestly, I think the language should probably be changed on their website because it's indicative that this is completely waterproof and you will have no issues. I'll be buying a waterproof case at some point in the future. Definitely look for a, view, a YouTube video on that and we'll see how that works out, all right? Hope this video helped. Hope it makes, helps you make an informed decision on how to use your GoPro. Make sure you hit that like button, turn on notifications if you're already subscribing and subscribe if you haven't, all right? Take care out there. Be kind to each other. Peace.